guys, and welcome back to the last show of the day here on Stuff and Things. I'm Dan. And I'm Mia. And this is our daily news show where we bring you stories from Canada and the world. Gorillas are one of the most fantastic creatures on this planet, and I've always been fascinated by them. Growing up, watching Planet of the Apes, cheering for those apes to get those damn dirty humans. Our love for our distant cousins is unfortunately not shared by everyone. Every day, these amazing animals are hunted and brutally killed for no better reason than base greed. A particularly troublesome ploy of man is to set snares, usually intended for other animals, that will trap the hands and feet of the great apes and lead to their deaths. Conservationists continually search for and destroy these traps, but they're not alone in the removal. Field staff of the Diane Fossey Gorilla Fund in Rwanda reported a group of young gorillas being assisted by an older black pack, finding and destroying these snares. A member of the staff was trailing the apes as they had previously found snares in that region, and they noted that the apes were actually heading to the direction of one. When he went to remove it, Vuba, a very old silverback, called him off, and the two juveniles in the black pack rushed out and removed the snare. They immediately noticed the second one and destroyed that just as quickly. This is absolutely amazing, and it's just like, what will they think of next? Are they gonna start making spears and bows and getting those nasty poachers? And one could hope. Thanks to the tireless work of conservationists, over 1,000 snares are removed every year. Although gorillas are still a critically endangered species, the population is increasing in some areas by 4% a year. As per recent census data, the population is only around 790 right now. What these gorillas did was pretty amazing. Do you guys think this is just an isolated incident? Or is this just the tip of the iceberg of what these amazing creatures can show us, what they're fully capable of? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you liked what you've seen today, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you on Monday.